Hello, I am a member of Mathematics Club Mathless and today we are going to discuss how can we connect mathematics in our nature. Have you ever wondered how perfectly and awesomely our world is created? It is because mathematics is used in everywhere in our nature. It is used for designing and making it very beautiful. Hi, my name is Yunes. I am from class 10. Today I am going to discuss how can we connect mathematics in nature. We all know mathematics is everywhere, especially in nature. Today I am going to discuss about two shapes that we can see commonly in our nature which is used to give a pleasing effect to us. Hexagonal shapes. We can see a hexagon almost everywhere in our nature. We see it mainly in honeycombs. Honeycombs show a specific pattern of repeating hexagons. The nature chooses the hexagonal shapes for honeycombs because it is more efficient and it is it uses only less wax to create them and it can store maximum capacity of honey than any other shapes. We can see hexagonal shapes in snowflakes, bubbles, everywhere. The next shape that we can see commonly in our nature and surroundings is concentric circles. Concentric circles are circles which have same center but different radius. It will be same like an onion when we cut it in center. We can see many layers of circles are bounded in an onion. We can see concentric circle in our house itself, especially like onion as we said earlier. We can determine an age of tree by looking the rings or concentric circles that is available in the tree branches. This method is used by many specialists for understanding the age of trees. We can also observe concentric circles when we throw a stone to a pond. We can see that the waves of concentric circles are created. So by these two shapes is itself, we can understand that nature is made up of mathematics itself. It consists of symmetries, patterns everywhere. These symmetry and pattern together constitute to make our world more beautiful and awesome.